skin. Fuck me. Mannix, the classic American detective series, became a staple of television comfort viewing during its run from 1967 to 1975 on CBS. The show featured Joe Mannix, portrayed by Mike Connors, as a resilient private investigator navigating the challenges of his field. Created by Richard Levinson and William Lane, and brought to life under the guidance of executive producer Bruce Jeller, Mannix offered audiences a mix of suspense, action, and character-driven stories that stood out in the era of television drama. We can get a lead by checking the readouts to see what information he pulled. In the television series Mannix, Joe Mannix is portrayed as a determined and resourceful private investigator. Initially employed by Interdict, a large detective agency in Los Angeles, he exhibits a knack for solving complex cases. His independence and unique approach to investigations lead him to establish his own agency in the show's second season. His secretary, Peggy Fair, is a testament to his trustworthiness and integrity. She supports him unwaveringly, often contributing significantly to the success of his cases. The show is set against the backdrop of Mannix's Spanish-style house, which adds a personal touch to his character, reflecting his preference for a warm and inviting environment. His distinctive plaid sport coats and classic muscle car not only define his personal style, but also add to the show's overall charm and appeal. These elements combine to create a sense of familiarity and comfort, inviting viewers into the world of a private investigator whose life is anything but ordinary. Mannix, the television series that aired from 1967, was a standout show that defined the detective genre for its era. The series featured Mike Connors as Joe Mannix, a determined and intelligent private investigator who often found himself in perilous situations. The show was known for its straightforward storytelling and absence of unnecessary complexity, which made it accessible and enjoyable for a wide audience. The action sequences were well-crafted, ensuring that viewers remained engaged without feeling overwhelmed. Mike Connors' portrayal of Mannix was grounded and authentic, which allowed the character to resonate with the audience. His performance was not overly dramatic, but rather perfectly balanced, contributing to the show's overall down-to-earth and approachable feel. This approach to character development and storytelling made Mannix a staple of television during the 1970s and a classic example of the detective drama genre. Mannix, Jim. Hard, no. Oh. Oh, I want to think about it. You go down to the press section right now and see what you... The television series Mannix, which aired in 1967, was notable for its action-packed episodes that frequently placed the protagonist, Joe Mannix, in perilous situations. The show's narrative often revolved around Mannix encountering physical threats. He would find himself in dangerous scenarios, ranging from being struck on the head to facing gunfire. The adversaries he confronted were not limited to using conventional means. They employed a variety of unconventional weapons, Notably, episodes depicted Mannix being pursued by assailants on motorcycles and even targeted from helicopters. These elements of danger and the use of diverse methods of attack by his enemies added a dynamic layer of excitement and suspense to the series, keeping viewers engaged with each episode's unfolding drama. Sorry you were cheated. The television series Mannix, which debuted in 1967, faced criticism for its levels of violence but maintained a strong viewership. The show's popularity did not wane despite the concerns. Instead, it embraced a more intense and action-packed approach as the series progressed. The theme song composed by Lalo Skifrin played a significant role in the show's identity, becoming widely recognized and associated with the series. Additionally, Mannix was known for its innovative use of visual techniques that were considered advanced for the time. These elements were designed to captivate the audience, contributing to the show's sustained success and leaving a lasting impression on the television crime drama genre. The office not to call you. Nobody called. The television series Mannix, which premiered in 1967, enjoyed a successful run of eight seasons. It was a staple in the Nielsen ratings top 20, reflecting its popularity among viewers during its broadcast years. Despite its success, the show was canceled. Following the cancellation, there were initial plans to bring Mannix back in the form of a television movie. 
However, these plans never materialized due to the untimely death of Bruce Jeller, the creator of the show. Mannix was notable for its array of guest stars who appeared throughout its run, contributing to the series' dynamic and engaging episodes. The show is recognized for its significant influence on the detective television genre, setting a standard for future productions with its style and storytelling approach. Mannix's influence is still evident today, as it paved the way for subsequent detective shows that sought to emulate its formula of combining action with character-driven stories. I have a pistol in my hand and I'll use it. Now put your hands over your head. Mike Connors, known for his role as Joe Mannix in the 1967 television series Mannix, had a career that spanned several decades in the entertainment industry. His portrayal of the intrepid private investigator in Mannix was a defining role in his career, earning him widespread recognition and a place in television history. The show itself was notable for its action-packed sequences and for being one of the first to feature a computer in solving crimes, reflecting the technological advancements of the era. Connor's work on the series was complemented by his appearances in various other television shows and films showcasing his adaptability as an actor. His last television appearance came in 27, marking the end of an era for the actor who had become a familiar face to audiences around the world. Mike Connors passed away in 2017 at the age of 91, and his passing was felt deeply by fans and peers alike. His work, especially in Mannix, remains a significant part of television's rich tapestry, remembered for its contribution to the genre of detective series. <laughs>